There have been calls on President Akufu Addo to make changes in his ministers to allow new ideas to drive the economy. But the president, in a radio interview during his northern regional tour, indicated that there was no need for him to reshuffle his ministers following their outstanding performance. The majority leader on New Day noted that a reshuffle should not be the option for non-performing ministers. If you're not able to perform, it's not a matter of reshuffle. Then you should be fired by the president should, and a new person brought in. Should there have been some people who should have been fired by now? I am talking to the general principal now. Mm. We must do a critical analysis about his own performance. And the person who conducts the asset test mm. is the person who nominates. The takeaway from what the president said was that if I have to do it, I don't have to advertise it. Okay. So it's not a close shop. It's not a close shop that the president said he would never do any reshuffle. He further argued that reshuffled ministers should return to parliament for vetting. If there should be a reshuffle, those people should come back to parliament. Okay. For us to assess them, whether they are competent in the new areas that they are going. So parliament agrees that once you are vetted to a position, you should stay there. Commenting on the Dom Kwabenya siege saga, the majority leader wanted the speaker, Alban Bagbin, to rule on the matter based on the constitution. What I disagree with the speaker on is the fact of what he said, his conclusion, that when the report comes, parliament will not debate it, but parliament will vote on it. Where is that coming from? So I told the speaker that I disagree with him on what conclusion that he had drawn. Okay. The parliament that is plenary should vote on it. And I said, no, that's not the, what the constitution determines. The constitution says that that determination must be made by the committee. He accused the minority MPs of having different views on the matter, but Deputy Minority Whip Ahmed Ibrahim disagrees. What we are saying is that the parliamentary practice and procedure, due diligence must be followed. Mm. Well, whatever decision happens today will be referred to tomorrow. Okay. Then you... It was clear this is not the first of its kind. The Amwati case and the ruling of the court was quoted by the minority leader, Haruna Idrisi, mm. in raising his preliminary objection. And majority leader must be questioning Joseph Jose Wusu and not the speaker. They, are, they brought a motion, but they realize they don't have the support of the So they are running away from their own motion and they are calling for statement.